Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your October reading. Yes, we're already closer to mid-October. I'm aware. Um, obviously, October has had some pretty dense energy so far. Um, and when you are transmuting a really dense energy in your body already, and there's dense energy outside of your body, um, it gets a little rough. So I appreciate everybody's patience. Um, we have a lot of new stuff going on, like a whole bunch of new stuff going on with the Love and Science team. Henry and I have finally got our foundation started and going, um, and our Patreon is just growing and building, and pretty amazing things are happening. So we would love for you guys to join us on this ride of expansion and possibility and thriving. Like, it's pretty cool. So all the information for all the new stuff that's going on is in the description box. Like, I just... I. There's so much stuff happening that I don't want to like get overwhelmed with all of it in your readings anymore. So um, please check out the description box. And um, yeah, we just want to be able to share the joy and the manifesting and the expansion with everybody else too. Like this is not just for us. This is for everyone. Um, and it helps. It helps me to be able to rest more and not stress out when you guys help us out. Um, and yeah, the one thing I do want to mention is I have my six month readings available. So if you order in October, you'll also receive the December energies. So you'll get December, 2023 through June, 2024. That is also in the description box. If you would like to do that, Gemini. Okay. Let's get a surrender card. Um, the power of surrender. Let's see, Gemini, what it is you are surrendering. Gemini, sun, moon, and rising. What are you surrendering for? Oh, you got two. All right, let's see. Okay, surrendering to setting limits and surrender frustration. Okay. Surrender to setting limits. It is healthy to set boundaries in your relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. Um, I often have learned with boundaries and relationships is I have to give myself the boundaries first. Uh, if I'm going to expect anybody to treat me the way that I want to be treated, I have to be able to have those boundaries for myself first and say, this is how I expect to be treated because this is how I treat myself, right? So, but, but setting those limits for other people um, also shows an air of confidence that you have, you know, and it shows that you're not being like wishy-washy with your own energy at all. And then surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a breath, center yourself, and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Surrender frustration. Yeah. All right, let's just get into it. Let's just get into it. So <clears throat> if you're finding yourself in a lot of frustrating circumstances, um, especially with a fire sign right now, I feel like, like one thing that you don't want to do is say something that you'll regret later, right? And I feel like if you kind of just take a step back, you will be able to allow yourself to see a bigger picture and it won't be so restrictive. You may not feel so restrictive with yourself. You may not feel so restrictive with the fire sign either. I keep saying fire sign, <laughs> the queen of wands. 
for some of you, this is the your own fire in your own chart. For others of you, you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh, we also have the Four of Swords, and we have the Magician. These were the cards that they wanted to have out for your reading. So let's chat. <laughs> we'll get some more. We're going to clarify in a minute. But I feel like you have an opportunity with this fire sign to be able to heal some things and manifest. And I think that that was your initial intention. Whoever this fire sign is to you could be a friend, could be a business partner, could be a romantic partner. Um, could even be yourself, but that four of swords really makes me feel like something needs to rest. The four of swords, so swords are our thoughts when we're doing tarot, but it's also our words. It's like, you know, thinking about swords, it's like the two edges of the sword, right? The justice side where we seek justice and we find justice in that. And then the other side is where you can cut someone with your words. You can, the sword can hurt someone. The sword can find justice and the sword can hurt. So in your quiet times, are you, what are you manifesting, right? Because the magician, this could absolutely be a Sagittarius energy that you're dealing with, but with the magician, they have all the tools and the magician is very Jupiterian. It's very Sagittarius, right? So um, they have all the tools they have to manifest, right? And one of those is the sword. And when the magician knows that they have that sword and that kind of power, sometimes the way they'll find justice is by cutting, right? The manipulation part. So don't let yourself be manipulated. That's where we set limits, right? That's where we set limitations on other people. No, no, no. You, I'm, I don't even do that to myself. You don't get to do that to me because I don't even do that to myself. Let's clarify Gemini. Let's see here. Queen of Wands. Hmm. Something is on hold with the Queen of Wands. Okay. So the Queen of Wands may feel a little stagnant or you may feel stagnant with the Queen of Wands. And because of that, you may feel like you want to really rush in instead of kind of taking a step back and being like, well, I wonder why they're stagnant. I wonder why they're a little stoic. <clears throat> The hanged man, which is Pisces energy, but the hanged man on the Queen of Wands, we have the Knight of Swords on the Four of Swords. Okay, and then we have the Lovers, which is your energy, the Gemini energy, the Lovers and the Hermit, uh, which Venus is in Virgo, and Vir the Hermit has been showing up in a lot of people's readings. So this Venus in Virgo is really um taking its place in october for sure um but these are all major arcanas and these are all representations of the magician as well different representations of the magician mercury jupiter what have you you are also the magician okay even though it's jupiterian it's also really mercurial that's how the magician works um, okay, so the hanged man on the Queen of Wands. This is where I'm feeling like that fire sign is a little bit stagnant right now. Uh, may even be your confidence, but this makes me feel like both of you need to look at things in a different perspective. There's something because if you're arguing, because I feel like you really want to rush into something that feels like it kind of needs to take a minute and regroup itself, right? The four of wands and, or the four of swords and the hanged man very much give me the same kind of like, 
you got to take a minute and you don't want to move too fast and you got to look at things in a different perspective and we have to allow things to settle like you know because it feels like there's this desire to rush in and i don't want you to do that right this is where that frustration needs to be tempered whatever is meant for you will be for you. If it's not meant to be a part of your journey, October is going to help to usher it out. That's just the way eclipse season works. And it happens to us every six months. We literally get a whole new reset in our life if we want to every six months and people complain about it. That never made any sense to me, but I'm mutable, so. And then we have the lovers and the hermit. Um, whatever journey you're on, you may be on a lover's journey with the fire sign. Could also be a Pisces with fire, you know, but could also be a Virgo with fire. I mean, we have Pisces, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, anybody? It could be anybody really, but it does feel like this is definitely something you want to manifest. And the hermit, you know, a lot of, it's really funny because Virgos can be really analytical and Virgos can be very critical and Virgos can look at the really tiny little details of everything. But at the end of all of it, <laughs> because Virgo looks at every little tiny detail and every little thing about it and like scans the entire process. That's the patience of it all. Right? We're not skipping steps. Bottom of the deck. Let's look. Ooh, there you are sitting nice. King of swords at the bottom of the deck. Gemini energy. So B, yep, here we are. Okay. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Pentacles. And this is what I mean. The steps that you're taking forward, make sure you're not rushing into anything. Make sure you're taking each step properly, you know, like one step at a time so that you know you're not rushing into anything. And set up your boundaries, right? Like your like the more boundaries that you have for yourself, not necessarily for other people. Like yes, you also want to set limits for other people so they're not like crossing your boundaries all the time, but more than anything, you want to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and that means setting up your own boundaries. And the more you do that, the less you're going to be in that self-imposed imprisonment of the mind with the 8 of swords right? The seven of wands is protecting yourself. And that eight of swords, the more you protect yourself, the less you have to be worried about it. And I think the biggest worry for you is like, if I protect myself, this person is going to run away. If they love you, they won't. They will respect your boundaries if they love you, if they truly care about who you are. Because that's what unconditional love looks like. Okay. I love you guys. I hope you have a really good October. I know it's going to be rough, but I really do wish hope that for you. And take your time and let things come to you in the way that they need to. All right. Bye.